As technology advances in all aspects of our lives, programming has become increasingly important. It is used in many fields and industries, including software development, gaming and entertainment, education, scientific research, web development, and many more. So, needless to say, the demand for programming and coding in the IT industry will probably keep increasing for the foreseeable future. But where does ChatGPT OpenAI's popular language model fall in this chain? That's exactly what we are focusing on in this today's video. On that note, welcome to the Simply Learn YouTube channel. Today we are here with an interesting video on ChatGPT for programming. ChatGPT is after all a product of artificial intelligence. If you want to know more about artificial intelligence and become an expert in the field of AI, consider the Artificial Intelligence Engineer Master Program by Simply Learn and master those necessary skills. Check out the link in the description for more details. As I said earlier, Programming is utilized in many domains like web development, robotics, mobile development, machine learning, and so on. So, how can a program achieve maximum code efficiency? Nowadays, we have AI-based tools like ChatGPT to make our programming experience more efficient. Although there are several coding resources platforms such as Stack Overflow and GitHub, where programmers can find solutions to their technical programming questions, ChatGPT stands out from the competition because of its quick response time, usability, and support for numerous languages, among many other benefits. Now, let's first discuss how ChatGPT works. ChatGPT generates responses to the text input using a method called transformer architecture. A large volume of text is fed into the ChatGPT from various sources, including books, websites, and other social media platforms. The model then uses this information to forecast the following word in a phrase based on the words that came before it. The ChatGPT system allows users to enter text or queries, and then the system uses its training data and algorithms to produce the right answer. The answer is created after the input text has been examined, and the pattern most likely to match the input have been identified using the training data. In short, ChatGPT is designed to respond to queries logically and command more quickly and accurately. But why do programmers use ChatGPT on a regular basis? ChatGPT assists programmers by offering programming-related answers and solutions and helping them improve their skills. Besides that, ChatGPT is utilized for code generation, code completion, code review, and a natural language interface. Let us understand each in detail. ChatGPT is trained to generate the code or even the entire program described in the natural language specified by what they want a program to do. And then ChatGPT could generate the relevant code. Look at the example of how ChatGPT generates the code. So now open the ChatGPT and you can type any program that you want ChatGPT to generate. So I will give write a palindrome program in Java. So here you can type write a palindrome program in Java. So using Java programming language, it should generate the whole program. So as you can see, it has generated the program. So it has used a class name called palindrome checker and it has used each palindrome as a method name. And also it will give the explanation on the program. So you can see here why it is explaining why each palindrome is used as a method and uh, it also explains uh, the for loop if a condition and so on. Next we have code completion. ChatGPT is trained to generate snippets of code or even fully fledged programs. It can generate a list of possible code completion depending on the context of the user's incomplete piece of code. By automatically producing the entire code, it can help the developers save time and minimize errors. Next. Let's see the example of code completion using ChatGPT. So even if the program is explained in natural language, ChatGPT will generate the proper code and give the complete code. So let's type here using a function, write a program to convert the string in uppercase. So using which language? Let's keep using C programming and enter it once again. So as you can see, we have just said that using a function, write a program to convert the string in uppercase. So using C programming language and using C programming language, it has used function and you know, this is the function convert to uppercase and it has 
given the complete code for string uh, to convert a string in uppercase and also it gave the explanation here the convert to uppercase function takes a pointer to a string as its argument and then iterates over each character in the string using a for loop so it explained why for loop is used why to upper is used and why the method convert to uppercase is used everything so let's say uh, we'll give one piece of code like void to upper char str so as you can see we just gave the method to upper and it's generating the complete code so this is how chatgpt works for code completion next code review ChatGPT can analyze code, identify the bugs or errors in the program and further help resolve them. It allows developers to fix errors more quickly. So now, let's have a look at the example of code review. So in this example, ChatGPT will review the code. So even if the code has some mistake, it will give the proper output. Let's say we have given the example here. So we gave the function or a method called upper and here we are giving the keyword called upper so it should check whether this piece of code is proper or is there any mistake in this so as i said uh, it's saying that the given code appears to have logical error as the function upper is being called recursively on itself inside the loop so instead of giving to upper we just gave upper here right so using the keyword to upper only then the string can be converted to uppercase so here we gave just upper so it says that it is having this piece of code is having a logical error and it gives the proper code for us so i hope it's clear and then we have natural language interface with the use of chat gpt a software application can be given a natural language user interface that enables users to communicate with it through natural language instructions rather than through conventional user interfaces. Next, let's see how ChatGPT helps the programmers for natural language interface. So let's say we'll give here create a software application where the user asks to enter credential for the to-do app give enter so as you can see the chat will give the steps so it can provide you with an outlet for creating a software applications that requires the user to enter credential for a to-do app so here it is few steps that we need to follow to do a to-do app. So it's giving the explanation step by step. So it says that determine the programming language and framework, then set up the database to store the user information and then create the registration page and then finally create the login page as well. And once the user is successfully logged in, um, you know, it will have the options like add, edit and delete task as well. And then finally implement the security measures to, you know, protect your passwords and then Test the application to ensure that it works as intended and the user data is being stored and retrieved correctly. So it gives the steps of how it has to be developed. So guys, what are your thoughts on how effective the chat GPT is for programming? Do let us know in the comment section. Please like this video and share it with your friends. For any queries regarding this topic, mention them in the comment box. Thank you. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.